Antonio Lucio Vivaldi was born on 4 March 1678 in Venice, then the capital of the Republic of Venice. He was son of Giovanni Battista Vivaldi and Camilla Calicchia, as recorded in the Register of San Giovanni in Bregora. His father, Giovanni Battista, was a barber before becoming a professional violinist and was one of the founders of the Sovegno dei Musicisti di Santa Cecilia, an association of musicians. He taught Antonio to play the violin and then toured Venice, playing the violin with his young son. The president of the Sovegno was Giovanni Lagrenzi, an early Baroque composer in the Maestro di Capella at St. Mark's Basilica. It is possible that Lagrenzi gave the young Antonio his first lessons in composition. In 1693, at the age of 15, he began studying to become a priest. He was ordained in 1703, aged 25, and was soon nicknamed Il Preet Rosso, the Red Priest. In September 1703, Vivaldi became master of violin at an orphanage called the Devout Hospital of Mercy in Venice. Although it was his talents as a violinist which probably secured him the job, he soon became a successful teacher of music there. In 1705, the first collection, Connor Cassara, of his works was published by Giuseppe Sala. His Opus 1 is a collection of 12 sonatas for two violins and basso continuo, in a conventional style. In 1709, a second collection of 12 sonatas for violin and basso continuo appeared, Opus 2. A real breakthrough as a composer came with his first collection of 12 concerti for one, two, and four violins with strings, Lestro Armonico, Opus 3, which was published in Amsterdam in 1711 by Estian Roger, dedicated to Grand Prince Ferdinand of Tuscany. In early 18th century Venice, opera was the most popular musical entertainment. It proved most profitable for Vivaldi. There were several theaters competing for the public's attention. Vivaldi started his career as an opera composer as a sideline. His first opera, Autone in Villa was performed not in Venice, but at the Garzari Theater in Vicenza in 1713. In 1717 or 1718, Vivaldi was offered a prestigious new position as Maestro di Capella of the court of Prince Philip of Hesse-Darmstadt, governor of Mantua, in the northwest of Italy he moved there for three years and produced several operas, among them Tito Manlio. In 1722 he moved to Rome, where he introduced his opera's new style. The new Pope Benedict XIII invited Vivaldi to play for him. In 1725, Vivaldi returned to Venice, where he produced four operas in the same year. During this period Vivaldi wrote the Four Seasons, four violin concertos that give musical expression to the seasons of the year. The composition was probably one of his most famous. Vivaldi's Opus 9, La Cetra, was dedicated to Emperor Charles VI. In 1728, Vivaldi met the emperor while the emperor was visiting Trieste to oversee the construction of a new port. Charles VI gave Vivaldi the title of knight, a gold medal and an invitation to Vienna.
Like many composers of the time, Vivaldi faced financial difficulties in his later years. His compositions were no longer held in such high esteem as they once had been in Venice, changing musical tastes quickly made them outmoded. In response, Vivaldi chose to sell off sizable numbers of his manuscripts at paltry prices to finance his migration to Vienna. Shortly after his arrival in Vienna, Charles VI died, which left the composer without any royal protection or a steady source of income. Soon afterwards, Vivaldi became impoverished and died during the night of the 27th or the 28th of July 1741, aged 63, of internal infection, in a house owned by the widow of a Viennese saddlemaker. On the 28th of July, Vivaldi was buried in a simple grave in a burial ground that was owned by the public hospital fund. His funeral took place at St. Stephen's Cathedral. Contrary to popular legend, the young Joseph Haydn who was in the cathedral choir at the time had nothing to do with his burial, since no music was performed on that occasion. During his lifetime, Vivaldi was popular in many countries throughout Europe, including France, but after his death his popularity dwindled. After the end of the Baroque period, Vivaldi's published concerti became relatively unknown, and were largely ignored. Even his most famous work, The Four Seasons, was unknown in its original edition during the Classical and Romantic periods. Vivaldi's work was rediscovered in the 20th century.